Hi everyone and welcome back to Online Tech Tips. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upload a Word document or PDF to ChatGPT. While this isn't something that ChatGPT directly supports right now, there are a couple of clever workarounds that can help you get insights or summarize from your documents. First up, you can use a third-party tool to bridge the gap. One popular option is the ChatGPT File Uploader Extended, a free Chrome extension. Install the extension by heading to the Chrome Web Store and adding the ChatGPT File Uploader Extended to your browser. Load up ChatGPT, the website, and you'll see a new button labeled Submit File. Click on Submit File and select the file you want to analyze. This plugin supports text, PDF, docx, xlsx, and even zip files. Now just wait for the summary. ChatGPT processes the file in chunks and provides a summary. You can follow up with any questions to dig deeper into the document's content. If you're more tech savvy, OpenAI's API allows developers to automate this process using coding languages like Python. You can extract text from files and then analyze it with ChatGPT. Always double check the privacy policies of third party tools to ensure your document's contents is safe. If you're subscribed to ChatGPT+, you have access to plugins that make analyzing documents even easier. So first you want to activate the plugin. Open the ChatGPT website and then switch to the GPT-4 model and enable the plugins beta option. Click plugin store and search for a plugin like Ask Your PDF, which is perfect for analyzing PDF files. Install the plugin and enable it and then upload your file. Then go to askyourpdf.com, upload the file and get a document ID. Paste this ID into ChatGPT and it will identify and analyze your document for you. With these tools, ChatGPT can summarize and analyze your documents quickly, saving you time and boosting productivity. Whether you need insights for work, study, or a personal project, this is a fast way to get more work done. And that's it. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips. See you next time.